Yes, 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 world. What's going on? This is your man, Buddy Ramming. It's your boy D Rock the Mic. Yes, yes, and we are back at it with another episode of the Funny Business Podcast. Yeah, so before we get this interview started, y'all know what to do. Click and subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on all of our social media, Funny Business. And uh, let's get rocking. Oh, yeah, and shout out and follow us, um, subscribe to our Patreon page, too, for all the exclusive behind the scenes and stuff that you can only see on the Patreon account. Trust me, it's worth every penny, all right? And make sure you leave some comments in the YouTube and let us know how you feel about it. If you like something we said or something that the guest said, go ahead and cut that out, post it, and put our names with it, and we make sure we put it on our page for you. Yes, yes, y'all. Now, without further ado, y'all, let's um, go into it with our special guest, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What up, what up? It's your boy DJ Mike Rose, Yuba City, California. All right, welcome to the welcome to the Funny Business Podcast. I love this spot, bro. Yeah, we well, thank you guys for having me. Man, no, thank you for thank you for coming through and shit, man. So let's shit. I don't know. Let's just get to right here with this. We got oh, this oh yeah. Let's, 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 let's real quickly. Let's get into this shit. Let's get into this crack cocaine real quickly. Bro. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is supposed to be popcorn, popcorn. What's my popcorn lady? But this, what I tell y'all. Look, I have some of the best ever, right? man. Yeah. Crack, yeah. in that. you be. I'm not even lying. I'm, that's not even a plug. That's not even a. This so is, we best. just had to get that out the way because we've been watching yeah, this all day <coughs> fucking break, bro. It's been fucking wild. Been money. Yeah, yeah. Make so, sure you hit the popcorn lady up. Yeah. Her, her, her uh, yeah. YouTube, her Instagram, all that right shit there. right here. Thank Make you. sure you follow her, man. Thank she you. got it. She's Thank you. Thank you. So let's get into the nitty gritty, man. How'd you get into DJing? Oh, bro, I've always been a DJ. I've since. Middle school, mm. but see, I grew up with my my my, my I'm I'm literally a, a, a splitting image of my pop. So, mm-hmm. like, I grew up in a musical family. So, uh, my dad's from Motown. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, I grew up. Uh, my dad's always was always playing music in the house. Always playing instruments. Always playing mm-hmm. his guitars. His, his, he's the person at the at the at the park. Like mm-hmm. he would take his kids to go and play, and he would be out in the park playing. Music out loud, and shit, yeah, you know, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. hours and shit like that. So I, I'm, I literally just picked this all up from my dad. I just love, I just love music. Yeah. That's real. Okay. And you say you've been DJ since you were like eleven or twelve. Now back in those days, was the DJ more a hey, pull your phone out, play it like there was that? There was no phone. I had no phone. Wait, what was that? That was no iPad. No, 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 I really wasn't. There was there was tapes. There was records. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, honestly, uh, my older cousin, when I got into high school, was really when I started to, uh, like, middle, middle school, CDJs was out, though. It was like a little CD player. Not the, not the same, the art ones that we have now, mm-hmm. but there was like a CD player. Let me just say that. But it had, like, your little pitch and everything on there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, like, the first, you know what I mean? It was cheap new marks or whatever back then. That was the first one. But when I really started taking it seriously, because we was doing the house parties or, like, any of the school events, yeah, yeah. I started, uh, with with turntables on uh, techniques, mm-hmm. that's the that, that's that's where I learned. My older cousin is all hand me down, hand me down, mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? So, and did you already like have your DJ name set, or did you go through a couple DJ names? No, nah, to be honest with you, um, I I got my name from true story. I got my name from a job. Mm-hmm. So I was a uh, I was a four one one operator. Okay, back in the day, right? So uh, this was like. Uh, right out of high school, I, um, so there was already another Mike R or Michael R, like whatever. So they had, they said, "No, you got to come up with another tag for your name." So I was like, so "They cut my name in half," and I was like, "Oh, Mike Rose." And I was just just stuck. It's dope, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so what is it? Yeah. It, it, it is my it's, name. It's, yeah, is four one one still around? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's. I ain't yeah. that shit so oh, fucking oh, Hey, you want to know something that was crazy? So what people didn't know was okay. We was all we was all at this call center, right? Mm-hmm. So it was four one one for every, we did every single carrier, AT and T, Sprint, T Mobile. It didn't matter. People would it, we had different etiquettes that would pop up on the screen. Though. Mm-hmm. So it would be like if you think that you you AT and T you Sprint. Yeah. And we had a different etiquette for uh, hey, to, you know. No, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was really the same people, and you would hear yeah. people like talking shit about like the other carriers and that's stuff like that. that. <laughs> like, we the same fucking people though. Yeah. Like, it was dope back then because what people didn't know. People will call us for, hey, what's the score for the, what do you call the game? Or like, um, we used to also do reservations. Mm. Hey, can you do movie reservations, dinner reservations? All that. I, didn't, shit, mm. I, didn't, I didn't know that. 
I didn't know that shit back yeah. then, though. Yeah. So that shit was crazy, though. That's, that's why I got my name, though. So. All right, for sure. Mike Rose, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all heard it first here. Yeah. No, so that's funny. Here yeah. we go. We got the exclusive. <laughs> got the exclusive. Yeah. Okay, now let me ask you this now. Okay, so you've been doing it for a while. What was your your break where you was like, okay, this is, I don't want to do nothing else. Nothing else matters but this. Um. Well, so... So after high school, I moved to Sacramento. Okay. You know, I'm from Yuba City. Mm-hmm. So um, I moved to Sacramento, to music business, to local, to uh, just, you know, you're, you're, I tried to further stuff. But then mm-hmm. when I moved out to Sac, this is like kind of the hub. This is the hub. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You get people from the Bay. You get people from everywhere. Yeah, true. Yeah. Out here, you yeah. know what I mean? So, and uh, especially like back then, like especially like from early in the 2000s and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. like when there were still CDs out and mm. pushing it and everything, you know what mm. I mean? I used to work at Fry's Electronics too. Okay. You know what I mean? yeah. And that's where I would run into everybody, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shoot, hey, yeah. Mike, look, okay, well, hey, you, you got the plug on the CDs, look, I don't know, you know what I mean? So that's true. we used okay. to get okay. artists and everything inside mm. there, you know what I'm saying? But Sacramento really is the hub though, you know? But um, that's where I started taking it seriously, okay. you know what I mean? And, uh, and that's when I started getting into my foot in the door with here and there, like little clubs and this, and that's when, oh shoot, now I'm getting paid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a big difference when you just party, when you just play to, to, play, to just, play. Just keep the party exactly. going. Exactly, but yeah. now, okay, cool, hey, here you go. Oh shoot, what you doing tomorrow night? Oh yeah, well, hey, I'm here, I'm with it, come yeah, on, let's yeah, do it, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So that's where, that, that's really, mm-hmm. that's where it was on to, uh, on to something. Okay. Did you ever look up to any like DJs that had been up, you know, came up before you that you were like, yo, these are the guys I want to follow? Oh, yeah, on. man, man. Like, you know what's crazy? This might make me sound like a old head, which I don't, I don't want to say, but I looked up to like, like, like when I grew up, like people like Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. DJ Quick, like any, like, like those are DJs to me. In my, yeah, in my, yeah, like, yeah, they're, yeah. they're not just the DJ; they were also the. The producer, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're also engineers too. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They do it all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you were the artist. Like, it's it's it was the DJ's job to make sure that you was popping, to make sure that yeah. you was, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and that's how uh, those are the type of people who I mm-hmm. look up to. Like, you know what I mean? Those are the those are the real DJs to me. Yeah. Though, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, because on the music scene, you are the type of person that does do it all. Where you can, yeah. you produce the beats, you can sing, you can rap, you can put it all together. All that stuff. Um, how did that come about? Um, it's just a love for it. Mm. Like I said, I, a lot of a lot of that has to do with me growing up in mm. a, in a musical uh, household. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's, I just love doing that. I used to when I was 100 pounds lighter growing up too. I was a b boy back then. You mm. know what I mean? So I just picked up all all the elements. And it's just a love for all of it. That's mm-hmm. and that's really what I think that sets me apart is because I I just always I didn't just grasp just one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was like. I was always interested in, in, in everything, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. and that's the dope part about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Universal with it, okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about, let's talk about Yuba City now, bro. Cause, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, because like a lot of people don't understand, bro, just the um, the impact and stuff that, that you do for Yuba City, for throwing on events and stuff like that. Like, say, you do the music for the high schools and stuff like that. So let's just, and you brought out some of the biggest artists, you know, around. All right, so let's just talk about some of that stuff. Okay. Well, so uh, so what many of you guys might not know, so I'm from Yuba City. I met Buddy in Yuba City, you know. Um, I also DJed out there. I was on the, I was a, a radio DJ out there as well, too. So that's also how I would go and invite, like, you know, me being a fan. Uh, I would also, like, reach out to other artists, but then I would pull them onto my radio show. Mm. And that's how I got, like, a, a line on a lot of these, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was cool because... With rhythm back, you know, what I'm saying rhythm, with rhythm, five nine, yeah, five yeah. nine, we would be also live um, on the on the web too. So like, mm-hmm. you just talk, you can we were the first one, like, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, was like, yeah. Like, yeah. So any artist, it didn't matter where he was at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bay, I had oh man, Bay Area artists. I had everybody from Jack of the Recipes to to um, I had Digital Underground. I had mm-hmm. Doey Recipe. I everybody, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I had a lot of people and uh, and. Uh, so for the UBC, that's the UBC radio station, just letting you guys know. But so I continued that on, and plus since I, you know, I'm a engineer, producer, and everything, mm-hmm. I've done work with a lot of these people. Mm-hmm. I would bring them out, period, to like, like I, I've, I've thrown shows. I still throw shows to this day, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, I bring artists out there. Um, I love my town. I love UBC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's, it's a small town, but it's where I'm from, and I just like, uh, I like, I like, uh, I like my city to be known as well too, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to give back to and and bring uh bring entertainers that were 
we not they, they don't know. Like, they, what the fuck is people city? What the fuck that, people that's what people gotta appreciate, you know what I mean? bro. That's what people so, gotta appreciate when you go, you take something, when you go out of, you know, you step out of your element, out of your zone from people city. You go out to Sacramento, you learn the music game and stuff like that, and you fucking bring it back to people city. And you fucking put everybody yeah, because in you, you know what? People think it's just a little okie town and shit like that. True. No, no, yeah, we, we got people with it. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. Yeah. We with it out there. Out there. You know what I mean? I was looking for a home like last year, and I ain't gonna lie. Yuba City was like on my list because there was literally nothing in Sacramento at the time. And I remember I was telling people, I was like, yeah, I might move to Yuba City. It's like, be careful. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Trent I never knew. Trent Lightly. But yeah, Yuba City, the, they, yeah. The they're, dirty they're official. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? So they went it out there too. So shouts out to everybody out there. Shouts out to my partner. Shouts out to my hometown. But we went it just like in Sacramento. We a suburb of Sacramento. I remember mm-hmm. we was 916. Yeah, we used to be nine one six. I didn't know that. So they took y'all away from. They took y'all. Yeah, it was the backyard. Yeah, I'm like, wait, well, how, how are you supposed to throw a five three zero? Yeah, we don't have any. What do we got to make up now? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Five three. That's, that's, that's where that's where I get five three. I know people who still got nine one six tatted on them. Though. <laughs> I gotta it's scratch dirty. that out. Like, like, oh, oh, but uh, they from Yuba City, born and raised. Oh, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, fuck they always tattoo up now. That's fucked up. Hey, okay. Sacramento got one. Well, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do because they just Sacramento did, got another one. Yeah, they got another one too. I don't, I don't remember where they're called. Two three nine or something like that. I think it's like two three nine. Weird ass. Yeah, I heard though. Vallejo just got one too. Really? Vallejo got some weird numbers. Trying to flip numbers on people. We did spend it too much. I guess I don't know. Side west side. They trying to gentrify everything. That's what it is. Like fuck it, we don't gentrify everything. That's what they say. That's what they did to you. But since y'all ain't. Y'all ain't part of this movie. We don't want y'all to be down with y'all. Got, y'all got to be part of the whole Chico and Humboldt <laughs> really? County Look, and Girls Valley. Yeah, we was popping up back then, like too. Like you remember, remember Planet Rock? Yeah, that that, that uh, that was another club that was out there. Okay. But we had, look, we had Rick Ross out there. We had Pitbull out there. We had Mac Dre out there. We had Too Short out there. Yeah, yeah, was was yeah. Guy really hey, good. hey, and that right there was broadcasted out here on on 103.5, 102.5, like the commercials. But that was out there. That's yeah, like, that's from. That's, okay, that's from so y'all been legit. Yeah. yeah. So who was like your first artist that you brought in, or first artist you met with? Oh, um, well, okay. So coming back to me moving out here when I got my little break of you know, so I was starting to get paid. Mm. I just so happened to meet. The, the promoter, my boy, so shout out to Smoke. Um, he was uh, he was running thirty thirty sick with it mm. back then. Mm. So that's when. So this mm. this club that I got into, this little, this bar I got into. Well, little do I know. Okay, over here standing, you we got we got sick with it artists over here. But this is like the the spot. So mm. I see the DVs, which is E Forty's artists. You know what I'm saying? I see I, I see hot. I see work, and I'm like. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna some people right now. Okay, yeah. wait, hold up. And then, you know what I'm saying? So the, that was like kind of a little. Yeah. Then you see, start to see other local like rappers there. We mm-hmm. was like, we was kind of like the Big Johns. Big, okay. Yeah, back yeah. in the day. So okay, if y'all yeah, don't yeah. know what Big Johns is, that's where y'all would find me at. Yeah. Big Johns, that's the. That's that's, that's the spot. Go. That's the spot. Right? That's, that's the spot in Yuba City that you want to go to. That's, yeah. that's one where you might. Uh, 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 yeah. You might pull something or somebody might pull something, something out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the spot out there. So. Um, shouts out to Work Dirty. Work Dirty like really put he 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 opened up a lot of doors for me, mm-hmm. and that's a uh, of course I'm gonna bring him. That's the first person that I brought with me because uh, he he showed me number love. He took me everywhere. We DJ from we went on tour with E40 to state to state for Damn, a very yeah. long time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, so of course I bring him, and he brought people with him. You know what okay. I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that that's really how it started though too. You know what I mean? So. Shout out to work. Yeah. And what other artists you brought out to um to Yuba City? Because I know you've had Neff the Pharaoh out there. Yeah, we had Neff. We had uh, shoot, who was our like? We had Raven. I brought Raven Justice. I yeah, brought Jerry sure. King. Was brought uh, Beza. You brought Matt Black Carson. Yeah, Matt. Matt. Black. I brought Matt Black a long time ago. Was it? Like, okay. Matt Black. That's my boy. Shout out to Matt too as well. I was. You guys came out with it. Oh, I remember when Clark Carson came through, though. That shit was lit, Oh, right? yeah. His block oh, came through, yeah. he had the video camera off. That was shit. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Lit, lit, yeah, we got that. That, that shit was lit. Nice. Yeah, yeah. lit. Nice. So, yeah. Look up that video, and that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's Yuba City for you right there. Mm. Damn, you know what man. I mean? So, uh, City ain't shit now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so I live in Tracy. Tracy ain't have shit. Tracy? That's where I'm from, Tracy. You guys got the outlets out there? We did have the outlets. They ain't shit now. We had the outlets. Yeah, remember that? We had the fucking outlets. You said we got Neff the Pharaoh. We had Clyde Carson. We had one club. That shit closed. 
<laughs> it opened when I was 12. It closed when I was 17, right before a nigga was old enough to get into that club. <laughs> fuck you, but it's good. Yeah, you know, yeah, fuck yeah, it. I fuck with you, Tracy. It's still my city. Oh, man. Damn. I ain't heard Tracy in a minute. Yeah, I, I, that's if you go to San Jose, if you want to take the highway yeah. that long. Yeah. Most niggas, yeah. everybody yeah. say, yeah, I've seen Tracy. I just passed by that. That's it. That's all I was known for. Stink ass city, for sure. Appreciate you. But, okay. Stink ass city, for sure. Appreciate you. But, okay. I was like shit out here. It, it must too. Be Tracy. I it swear. I remember I told a girl that she was like, "You smell good though, bitch. It ain't all over Tracy. I don't just, you know, all stinking that motherfucker. Like every single person, every person just smells like Tracy. Tracy, but you smell good. Yeah, yeah. That cologne, that got me yeah. showered today. What? Shout out to you giving me some pussy. But still, bitch, don't be asking me some questions. I smell good. But yeah. But yeah, man, I was yeah. Tracy was a motherfucker. Oh, it was y'all, 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 y'all really? There was nothing there. Niggas had guns for no reason. Let's let's be real. I had partners that had guns riding around for nothing. Said it matches my J's, nigga. <laughs> with flex it for while, like bro, there's no crime here. Why you got a gun? Just waiting for any nigga to jump off. Ain't no nigga yeah. jumping off. Nigga, like, you're, nigga, you're the only nigga with a gun in this town. Leave that alone, bro. Oh fuck. Yeah, I was raised with some dumb niggas, but I appreciate them. Shout out to them, oh, man. Fuck. Shout out to it, it feels good to be on a show, bro. We're talking about Yuba City. We're not the city being shitted on. For <laughs> real, man. I thought yeah. I had some cred. I ain't got hey, shit. Tracy, Yuba City, nothing. stand up. Every, yeah. Yeah. every time I do Shout a show, every time I do a show, I saw like I'm from Yuba City. Somebody's always like, oh. I'm like, nah, I'm like, what are you talking about? We, we can right. smack you, right. Yeah. Right, bro. Right. I got here. Right. Damn, no, I, I, just, I, I haven't heard Tracy in a minute. Yeah, y'all got to take me through Yuba City now. That's where oh, I want to go. go. That's, yeah, that's we, my goal. We'll you got to go to Yuba City. I'm going to get some street cred. You know what we're going to do? We're going to talk to Wally. We're going to talk to Wally. We're going to talk to Wally and do another comedy show at the strip club. That's that's what we do. Yeah. Y'all do comedy clubs at the strip club? We ain't got nowhere else to perform. Come to the strip club. I'm going to be here. Buddy, you performed? No, I performed at the strip club. I go to the show. I'm going to go to Hell yeah. yeah, I want to do that. That sounds fun as fuck. Yeah, I, I want to tell jokes with oh, some booty had, in my we face. Had, we had one stripper. She had came in before. She oh. didn't do too good at all, though. But I love <laughs> she, I love people that she struggle. She was shaking ass afterwards. She was shaking ass afterwards. So it I made it all remember that yeah. story. Yeah, I, I tried to mention that to somebody. I was like, hey, do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, who? I was like, you don't remember? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she yeah. Was yeah. Okay. The one I, oh, I felt. Oh, yeah. Bored. Uh, sure. Yeah. We get live up there in front of the UBC. That was okay. Spot. okay, let's get back to the interview. Tracy got Tracy got no strip clubs. No, no, strip club. no, no. Oh, we had a we had a house you can go to, you put twenty dollars in, you get a little. Look, get we, a little just, we just got a basement with a pole nigga, and that's it. Bitch shake a tail feather. It's not even a stripper pole, it's just a pipe nigga. Oh trust me, yeah, it was some pipes in the garage. That bitch was doing her work, but I ain't judge her, you know what I'm saying? I threw my, I threw my ones down proudly. I get her all. Right, so. all right. Now, okay, so you do, you produce, do you make music, do you like sing, rap, you do anything on your I own? I do it all, does it all. I do it all. Yeah, I do it all. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Speaking of which, you just dropped the uh, the hoodie music video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, give, us, give us a little background on the hoodie music video. That so, the hoodie video, about. so the, the, check out now, hoodie, Mike Rose. There's a. Uh, no, it's, it's doing cool. It's, it's doing something like, pretty it's, good. It's been out for like a week doing like 3,000 3, views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. But we got Buddy. I, <laughs> I had to tap in with Buddy over here. So um, you guys already know how Buddy is. You know what I mean? And uh, we threw a little comedy skit. It didn't go as planned. It was supposed to be longer. But oh, we were no. working on top. Like, it, like it's, it's, it's kind of hard getting a lot of people's schedules together to, yeah. to, to sync together That's and true. be on the same time. Like, like and then... You know what I'm saying? And that's the only thing that I'm going to say. But we pulled it off, though. Yeah. We still pulled it off. Yeah, I think you that was know? our first time treating it like it was like an actual, like, like we're shooting like a, a, a production. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Trying to yeah. line up schedules and just realize, like, oh, right, fuck, right. Man. But I, I, I actually came to Buddy. Good, though. No, yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched okay, it. Okay, dope, dope, dope. good. That shit was funny. Yeah, right. so Buddy helped, buddy, buddy helped me, uh, you know, I just, I just shot the idea to him and like an overall view, like, hey, look, Buddy, I want to check this out. I got this idea. I want to do this, 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 this. And then Buddy came back. He's like, okay, let me take those ideas. And then he came back with the whole, check it out. Yeah, <laughs> like the whole bunch of storyboard. <laughs> he had the storyboard. He had the drawn out and everything, too. I was like, oh, yeah, Buddy with it. He was with Legit, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So, And that helped a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I've shot videos before, and I've done work with, with multiple people before, where I try to present them a, a vision. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't capture it, like, you know what I'm saying? The buddy just, he captured it, though, and you know what I mean? And uh, shout out to Duke, too, for... Yeah, because he, uh, yeah, he's like, Duke, bro, we got Duke on the camera, man. We about to 
Yeah. That, that was a dope collaboration. They had them the two together, though. Buddy, was, Buddy had the iPad. Duke had the shot. Like, like the, the way, like, I don't know. They just orchestrated so well with like, that. The chemistry was organic. It was dope. Right? It was dope. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to, from now on, sorry. But, you know what I'm saying? That's where we're going. Yeah, check out that video. That's that's a good video. Appreciate it. Show love to that. Appreciate it. Buddy did his thing. Buddy, yeah. Buddy was in there. But we got we we working on something else though. We work on something else. We won't. Yeah, we had they, 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 that was yeah. Was we got something video. else though. Yeah, we had that dope video. Dope video was cool. We was all up in the fucking bring up the fucking strip club again. But yeah, we was all up in the. That was the first time we had like I know you could bring cameras into a fucking strip club like that. Right. But we had yeah, uh, we yeah, full we access, like, full access thing. to that shit. That's nice, man. That's, that's, that's legit though. Okay. So what, what is uh, what are you trying to push with that now? I mean. How, What's, what's up next for that? For that video, yeah, I, I got a plat- I got a couple people who uh, were a couple different uh, platforms that that has reached out to me. There's a um, you know on on, on social media mm. and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm I'm waiting for a slot. There's a couple different different avenues that I'm gonna push it out there to get more bigger promotion and stuff like that. There's one that that covers all this the Asian uh, like like the hottest Asian rappers and, oh, and nice. like artists and stuff like nice. that. So that's one that reached out to me, and that's one of the platforms that I'm gonna try to. I'm not gonna try. I'm going to put mm-hmm. it on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for a couple little things. I got a couple different plans for it. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, I just want to get that one out the way because we got so much more yeah, on the way. You know what I mean? That was kind of learning. Yeah, but hey, I love it though. I love that. I, I loved it though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what you got coming up for 2023? I got a lot, I got quite a few projects already. You know what I mean? Um, don't want to give away too too much, oh, yeah. but there are some things that are coming. Soon, like as soon as like next month soon. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? There's some things that are um, involved with out here in Sacramento as well. You know what I mean? Um You and Nacho collaborating on something? Ha 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 ha. Oh my bad. Shout that's out another, that's what shit. So I obviously shit. Okay. obviously okay. shouts out to Shouts out to Stone, shout yeah. out to Nacho. Nacho doing his thing, bro. Like, bro. like Shout out to Nash. Mm-hmm. Real shit. I want to say it right now to you guys, but I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. We'll leave it, yeah. and we'll probably do like an after thing. Yeah, we'll do like one more. Thing. Y'all keep watching. Yeah, man. we'll bring we'll bring back for the second part of the interview where we yeah, talk about all yeah, this. Yeah, but but most definitely. And you know what? We got it. Yeah, I just pulled the bag out. Not brand new. Not too. Speaking of, you know what I mean? Like it, it's dope because. This is it's so fire. This, this is, is so no fire. fire. Like, <laughs> this, this goes hand in hand with everything. I'm not yeah. even going to lie to you. Sorry, I'm not, yeah. it's, it's, I'm not trying to tutor horror or nothing yeah, like that. Dude, God damn. man, for real. If y'all don't... Popcorn, bro. Even if you don't eat popcorn, trust me, yeah. you're going to want it's this not one. Popcorn. It's, popcorn. it's not even popcorn anyways. This is like this is goddamn, this is like cereal, bro. Yeah. You got, yeah. You got a card? Can I, well, I know we say crap, but for the kids that's watching, it's not really crap. It's good shit, though. Try me. Try it out. I'm going to get you some. But you feel me? Okay, so before we get out of here, I, we like to do this where we like to ask people their Mount Rushmore. Who is your four people that you want to work with? Uh, are you looking forward in the future? Like, yo, I want to meet up with this person. I really want to work with this person. Let's get this pop for Finish this cocaine real quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> for <laughs> Artist-wise? Artist-wise, maybe somebody you want to watch. Yeah, yeah, just in general. Dope. That's dope. Um... Well, if it be honest, Snoop is definitely one. Mm. I wish I, I yeah, I, I love yeah, to. Everybody uh, wants Snoop. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's anything, my list, yeah, yeah, anything. I, I, I love to work with Snoop. You know what I'm saying? I love to work with Kevin Hart too on something. Mm, man, I'm for sorry, real, but for real. people, I, I, I've, I've always been a Kevin Hart fan. I, I, Smart man, dude. He's a yeah. Fan. That's he's actually one of business, that's for, that's a person who I actually do look up to. You know what I'm saying? Or down to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm call her name. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, I just worked on I actually just worked on a commercial with Kevin Hart. <laughs> Did you know, San Francisco. That's when you because you know you y'all called me up when you had dude called me up, what was it? Y'all called me up on fucking Friday or whatever? I can't remember what y'all you called me. Tell us? No, I didn't tell you. That's why I was sleeping, bro. I was like, bro, I was like, I'm sleeping, bro. We just got done. I just got done. We was having a long ass fucking time shit, bro. I bet it is. That nigga up twenty four seven. He don't ever sleep. Twenty four seven, bro. That's just yeah, that was the long ass fucking time. Um but like but I say I know you're when you talk about like the business academy because I I just like be watching him on set shit. The only people he really kicked it with outside, like, you know, director, but the only people he talked to was this, his whole business career. The whole people that you always see him yeah. post on IG, like, this is my team, this is my team, this is my right here, really? Yeah, so, he really, yeah, his, his, yeah, his business acumen is on Hey, if you guys get a chance to, have you guys seen that? I know we gotta cut this, but have you seen the, the, uh, that, that video of the dude that started gym membership? He does the Kevin Hart impersonation? Mm-mm. All right, I, I, after we done with this, we gotta, we gotta watch this real quick. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, but definitely Kevin Hart. Um, E40, of course, yeah, I know, I, I know, shout out to Free Water, but 
I ain't work. Well, I need a song. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. need a song. We looking for you. Come on, man. Show us your love. Yeah, and then uh, I wish, I wish that 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 Michael Jackson was still alive because that right there would probably be my all time. Okay, yeah. yeah. Person who I would want to. That'd but I'm going to say Chris Breezy, bro. Chris Breezy? Yeah. Close second. Yeah, 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 yeah he's sure. definitely winning right now. He's killing the game. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, yep. But And with you guys, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep it in. Sure. Uh, we appreciate you coming in, you know what I'm saying, letting us know about your business, what you got going, what's coming up in the future, and, you know, bringing, you know, the popcorn lady to yeah, us. I have to. Yeah, let you know. I have to. Thank you guys for having great me. Great one. I like, I like what you guys are doing, too. I like what you said. Thank you. Thank you. I like the uh, I like the podcast and you know what I'm saying so well, you guys are doing thing you guys talking right. 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 that's right and you know what this wouldn't be possible without our sponsors so with that being said shout out to Simbi Tax Services right here so if any of y'all need y'all taxes done holla that fucking Simbi Tax Services you know tax season is right around the corner so either do your taxes or go to jail so your there choice. you go yeah, your choice. Choice. Hey. and you can be in Yuba City in yeah. jail <laughs> listen to my brother on the radio you know what I'm saying yeah, so make sure you keep an ear out for that shit it's gonna be popping yeah. And uh, appreciate y'all listening to us. This was another episode of Funny Business Podcast. Support black businesses so we can support you back, man. We love you. Yes, sir. Good.